Hi there, let's talk relationship and more especially relationship with self, relationship with me, you, your relationship with you. Uh, because for me, I think that is where everything begins. The relationship we have with ourselves. What we do in life is a reflection of the relationship we have with ourselves. Hello there, I am Mary Tapper. Any decision we make is in harmony uh, about who we are and uh, how we see ourselves is that reflection of who we are as a person. Because understanding who we are and being genuine with ourselves is the most important step to be an authentic self. A relationship with ourselves is the only constant because we spend more time with us more than anything else. And getting to really knowing who we are and asking ourselves questions and understanding us is such an important task because most of the time we look outside, we are more focused on what others think of us. We never really look at who we are as a person, how we show ourselves out there, what our desires are and how we manage our energy, our thoughts, our emotions, and all that. Because that is where evolution happens. When we know who we are, and we know how we show ourselves out there, and we are conscious of it, it is easy for us to set an attention of who we are willing to be. And staying open-minded to grow, to improve where we have shortcomings, to be a better version of ourselves is vital. So that relationship, it determines everything that we experience because life doesn't happen outside of us. It happens in us and through us. And that is what we bring on the outside, it comes from the inside. Our perception of ourselves is greatly determined by the experience of the world outside. Uh, but if I really want a good life, I first of all have to know who is Mary. How does Mary want to show up? What makes Mary come alive? Because as uh, Dr. Martin Luther Jr. Uh, mentor said, that's Howard Thorman, he said, don't look for what people want. You gotta look for what makes you come alive and do that. Because what the world needs is people who have come alive. And that means you've understood yourself in such a way that you're authentic in who you are. And it starts with self-care. There are many others, but today we'll talk about self-care. Uh, self-care and knowing and showing some, having love towards ourselves enables us to be grounded. And that supports our well-being. Um, it's like we are, we give ourselves compliments. Oh, I made my bed today. And I give myself a little time on the shoulder. I'm grateful, I'm grateful for that. I knowing how to spend time with myself and not just getting distracted by everything that is outside, complimenting myself, checking on to myself. How is your day going today, Mary? How do you feel? How is your energy? Setting an intention for the day. How are you showing up today? 
what energy are you bringing out? What are you expecting? What are, you, what are your expectations? Being grounded and rooted in this place. And that is what boosts our confidence because we know who we are and we are in harmony with what we want to bring and staying always in connection with our very essence because that's where the real answers and the real truths are. So I would like you to comment below about what you've learned about having that relationship with yourself and uh, what do you do? Do you, like me, I do affirmations, you know, and I say all the I am's, the great things I can say about myself. That's who I, I want to be. I set an intention for the day. I check myself during the day and uh, complimenting myself. I look into the mirror and I just tell myself, you're beautiful. You are wonderfully and beautifully made. And I stay in contact with my very essence and not let things get over my head, but really staying and being, you're humbled with everything that happens and not letting it get over. So, but at the same time, staying authentic and happy, joyous, I love to play as well. And that keeps, you know, keeps us going and to spread that energy and knowing that sometimes I don't need to talk. I need to spend some time with myself. And for me, those are really precious moments. I close my door and I just focus on the empty space and listen. I'm just spending time with me. So let me know how you spend time with you and how you are, how you do some self, you know, you take care of yourself and how you come to understand yourself even better. And mostly in the evenings, I do some self-reflection on what, how did I show up? How was it? And that helps out to be better the next day. Yeah, we are always work in progress. That's what life is about. We learn, we grow, and we evolve. So leave on the comment section. Let's have this conversation and keep it going. Take care. And I look forward to next Tuesday where we'll continue this conversation about relationship with self. Bye for now. And don't forget to subscribe, to share, and to like. Thank you so much.